Hello friends, welcome back. Now in this video I'm going to change the tables and also the forms a little bit. So for example in the users we have the name, email, email verified at and the created at and updated at here and the edit. And for example if I want to delete the user we need to go to the edit and delete. But also I want to add a delete button here and remove for example the updated ad okay and maybe add a search here so let's open the vs code and let's navigate in the filament user resource down there when we have a table we have the name and let's remove this updated ad as i said and uh, now the name i'm going to make a uh, searchable the name also the email so to make that we need just to say the chain of the searchable here and the same with the email so let's say searchable okay for the created ad and for the email verified ad i'm going to make them uh, sortable so let's say sortable like this and the same thing here just I'm going to remove uh, move this after the date and time and this one also after the date and time say sortable and let's save and let's see how it's going to look yeah we have a search here and the email and created that is email verified and created that is uh, sortable okay so we can search for example for the admin and we have only the admin here good now let's add also that delete button in the actions we have the edit action let's add also the delete action so i'm going to copy and paste this and just change the action to be the delete action hit enter save and let's come here and refresh and now we have this delete here and if i want to delete confirm that and we deleted the user okay i think we are okay now when we go to, the, to create a new user we need also to add roles and permissions for example to the user i want to add the role as a writer so he can write a post uh, edit a post and delete a post for example or we can add only uh, permissions so for example only to create a post not edit and delete so if we want now to add all the permissions to the roles if you go to laravel permission package laravel permission and here we have spati introduction okay so using permission via roles we can assign so adding assigning permissions to role we can role give permission for example to edit articles or delete articles so what I want to say, let's go to the roles first and here we have the writer and I want to assign to this writer the permissions create, edit and delete post. So let's create a new permission and for example here, let's go back, we have this create post and if I say again the create post, post the name has already been taken okay let's say edit post and one more for the delete post so let's say delete and maybe let's zoom it like this delete post and now we have three permissions now all these three permissions i'm going to add 
the, the, the writer here. So for that, let's go to this writer. And when we update, also I want to add a relationship, select a relationship here down there. So if you go to the fields, so here I have, I am inside the form builder and select inside the field, select the select field. And we have examples, but also we have examples for the relationship. So populating automatically from a relationship. And here we have a relationship for the one to many or multiple for, like this. And I'm going to copy also the preload because I want to preload the field. So for example, let's just copy this one right now. And let's navigate inside, first inside the role resource. Here when we have a form, card make, and we add a text input for a name, min length, and max length. After this one, I'm going to add the select. And also let's import the select. Just change the technologies to be permissions. Multiple, yeah, when I want to add multiple and relationship is permissions. And I want to display the name here. And if I save and let's go to the project and refresh, as you can see, we have permission here as a select and if we want to start to type the search, if I want to preload now, we need to add this to change the preload in this one. And let's save and let's try again, refresh. Now, if I just select here, we preload the permissions. And for example, I want to add this one, this one, and this one. And if I say save changes, we redirect it back. And if I click the writer again, we have all the permissions here. Okay, so now if I want to add these permissions, all the permissions to the row to the user, we just need to add to assign this uh, role to the user instead of all the permissions. This is the idea why I added the permissions to the role. Okay, now, uh, for example, here, if I uh, go to the roles and let's create another role with as a writer, we need, yeah, now writer already, already exists, so we need to add that. Uh, validation in the text input and we need to say also to be unique so let's say unique like this oh sorry we need to chain unique and save come here and refresh create a new your role and if i say a writer and just let's say create the name field the name has already been taken good but if i go back and let's go to the writer and let's update this so i'm going to remove the permissions and save changes now we have the name has already been taken if you go to the validation for the unique here we have an example we need to ignore the record so unique and ignore record that's true if we say that, so if you're using the admin panel, you can easily ignore the current record by using ignore record instead. And let's save right now and let's go and see again if I refresh. So I'm going to remove now all and save changes and we redirect it back so we are okay. Good, and I think the same thing we need to do in the permissions. If I see the permissions, Ah, yeah, here we have the unique and let's add the ignore record to true. And now here, as you can see, we have only the 
also in the role resource, only the name. Let's display also the ID and the created ad. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add here the text column. And I'm going to say make, and I want to make a text column for the ID, which is going to be a sortable. Okay, and maybe let's add also the created that. So inside the user resource, we have that. And let's just copy this and paste it inside here. And if I save, and let's go here and inside the roles, now we have the ID which is sortable. As you can see, and the name and the created that also let's add the delete. And if you don't like this date here, date and time, you want, for example, only the date. In the date and time, we can add the date, day, month, and the year like this. And for example, if I refresh, yeah, now we have only the date. Okay. And as I said, let's add also the delete button. So the same we did for the users. Let's copy and paste this one and change the action to be the delete action. Save, come here and refresh. Yeah. And let's do the same thing now for the permissions. Let's add the ID, the created ad, and the delete button. So I'm going to copy what we have here, go to the permissions, and paste it here. And let's add also the delete action here. So let's say delete action and save and refresh. And we are okay. Okay, friends, that's it about this video. I hope you enjoy and see you in the next video when we are going to add the roles, to assign roles, and also assign permissions to the user. So, see you in the next one. All the best.